Welcome everybody to the AME Television Show. I'm your host Jason Dowd and this is the Christmas Special. Now, we know that this is a very hectic time of year for everybody. There's no way around it, unfortunately. You have the kids out of school, you have sometimes shortened work so the finances can get stressful, you got shopping, you got food, you got everything. But you have to make some time to make Christmas memories. And that's what we're here to do. We're going to show you ways to make some great Christmas memories. And sometimes it doesn't cost you a dime. But we're going to do it through productions, we're going to take it through lights, we're going to take you through carols, we're going to do everything we can to make your Christmas bright. So, to do that, we're going to start out at the Disney Grand Floridian. I have always seen this place going to and from the Disney parking lot to the Magic Kingdom. It looked absolutely beautiful from, from the outside, and it was. And that is where we're going to meet our first guest, Ashley. We had her on the, on the show about two sh episodes ago where she came down and performed at the Disney Springs during the, um, during the, the Disney uh, Broadway Classics. And she's here on vacation. Her and her family were sitting there just telling us about the different things that she has coming up with the different productions for Christmas. Then we're going to talk to her about her Christmas traditions. This girl's amazing, guys. Give her all the love that you can. Watch her grow and flourish in, the, in, her, in, her, um, in her talents. Now let's go talk to, to Ashley at the Grand Floridian, and when we're done, we're going to come back and we're going to tour the Grand, the Grand Floridian with them. So let's go talk to Ashley now. Hey guys, I am at the Grand Floridian, one of my favorite places that I've seen coming to the Disney World Resort, and I ran into my old friend Ashley here. You remember her from the last time we were down, we were at Hollywood Studios, and we did a little interview from her from her uh, performance at the Daydreamer Productions. So welcome to the show, Ashley. How are you doing? Good. So, you're back again. It's only been about two weeks, so you're probably pretty excited that you get to come back to Disney World that soon. Yeah, it's a very nice place. So, what do you like about the Grand Floridian so far? I like that it's all, like, Christmassy, and you have, like, that nice, like, hmm, what's it called? Nice royalty feeling in it, kind of. I like that royalty feeling, too, and we're going to show you guys a little bit about what's going on here, because Disney does a great job for Christmas. So, what, would, what, do you, what have you done here so far since you've been back? Well, we've done a lot of the rides. We've only went to the Magic Kingdom and Epcot, mostly the Magic Kingdom. And, well, we like looking around here. It's nice. Are you going to be performing here this year, or are you just down here for vacation? This time I'm down here for vacation. And it is just past Thanksgiving, so this, is, this must have been fun to have some Thanksgiving at a place like this. Yeah, nice dinner here. So, what we want to know is a little bit about you. What type of stuff do you d d are you looking for for Christmas? What do you like to do for Christmas? We like to um we will, we open our um we open our presents in the morning, and then we basically and then we just basically eat all day. <laughs> we eat all day. Do you open your presents like do you get one on th on uh, Christmas Eve, and then you get s the open the rest of them on Christmas Day, or do you just open them all on Christmas Day? We I get to open them all on Christmas Eve. My parents don't do it with me. Do you beg them all day and drive them nuts until you get one? No. No, you're good about that. <laughs> well, I used to bu I used to bu bug my dad and my mom until they said, "Just do it. Just you know, open up a present. Fine, we can do that." So that's nice. You 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 got some manners. That's good. So, what is your favorite Christmas cookie? I really don't have a favorite Christmas cookie because my mom makes her own, and I do not know what they're called. <laughs> so describe it. Well. She doesn't exactly make cookies every year. There's like these brownie things. They're called dream bars. They're really good. They have like powdered sugar on top. It's good. Do you help her cook them? I try, but then once the chocolate comes out, I'm done. <laughs> Do you lick the bowl? That was always my favorite part of the Christmas cookie and the, uh, you know, the cakes that we make. I love licking the bowl. I never really lick the bowl. She gets mad at me. <laughs> I don't blame you. So... I hear that you are still in the Daydream Productions, but you're starting a new production that you're going to be working on for Christmas, right? Yes, I am. And what is that? It's called A Christmas Carol. It's with Riddles Brew Touring Theater Company. Excited for it. And I hear you have a role as um, Bob Cratchit's daughter, right? Yes. Which, what's, what, which daughter? Martha Cratchit. And what are you going to be doing? Are you going to be doing a lot of singing and dancing? Yeah, more singing than dancing, but. And I hear that you have a solo. So what? What solo? What song are you singing with the solo? Christmas is near us. 
Is this something that is that a Christmas song that you've known throughout the years, or did you have to kind of learn it to to play this part? I had to learn just this year. How hard is it for you to learn a song and do it pretty quickly? Because obviously, you know, production's pretty fast. Well, it's a short song, so it's easier to learn it. But it was kind of easy though to learn it anyway. And you're also playing a couple more songs. What are the other songs you're going to be singing in? Well, there's um, Carol of the Bells. There's a song called I Saw Three Ships. Well, they have some original songs in there, too, so not all known by people. And where is this going to be played at? The Strands Theater in Lakewood, New Jersey. And when does the, when does the show start and when does the show end? Well, I really don't know the dates exactly. I don't pay attention to that stuff. <laughs> you just show up and perform the, the good stuff, right? That's basically what I do. And that's not a problem, guys. What we will do is we will put out the information on our YouTube and our and our website that has this stuff. So if you want to see when this is actually going to be performing at, and you can go see it, go check out that website. Well, thank you so much for coming down and, and spending some time with us. I know I had a great time with you guys in Magic Kingdom today. Thanks. We had a good time, too. Good. All right, guys. We'll, we'll uh, check out some more Christmas stuff here in just a little bit. Limo Bob builds, sells, and rents the world's finest, longest, and most exotic limousines in the world. We provide every imaginable vehicle from a four-passenger town car to a ten-passenger Bentley Rolls and a Hummer for 20. We even have a one-of-a-kind 727 jet limo. And we offer a complete consulting package where Limo Bob comes to your location and shares three decades of experience in three days with you. Call 708-945-LIMO and visit LimoBob.com. After talking with Ashley, we decided to take her and her family and us and go tour the Grand Floridian. Now, one of the things I want to show you is different places and how they, and how they decorate for Christmas and how they get in the Christmas spirit and how they get you in the Christmas spirit. If you happen to be coming down to the area and you're in the Orlando area and you want to stay at a really cool place for Christmas, this is the place to do it. They have a 75-foot tree. They have a live band playing Christmas music. They have a store made out of actual gingerbread where you can buy gingerbread and Christmas stuff. It's amazing. It's beautiful. And it really will get you in the Christmas spirit. I'm going to take you on a very short tour of what they have to offer throughout the Disney Grand Floridian. And if you like it, recommend it to your friends. They might have, an Disney, they might have a Christmas experience at Disney that they will never forget. So let's go on this tour of the Grand Floridian and we'll be back right after this with more places to visit.
All right, guys, after we were done with the, with the interview with Ashley and touring the Grand Floridian, we decided to go down the street a little bit on Earl Bronson Parkway to the Gaylord Palms Hotel and Convention Center. This is the home of ICE. ICE is amazing. I've been wanting to do it for years, but I never had the chance to. Well, this year we did. And what ICE is, it's a, it's a town that is, and, and um, murals that are carved out of nothing but ICE. It started off in China where they, this town got together and made these huge ice buildings and murals and everything else. They painted it, they put uh, lights through it, and it's just a grand spectacle. Now here, what they did was the Gaylord Palms owners decided, let's make this something that people here in America can enjoy. So they bring over these fine craftsmen from, from China. They carve over 10 million pounds of ice for two months in nine degree weather, uh, actually nine degree AC and they put together a spectacle that will blow your mind. This year, the theme is Twas the Night Before Christmas. And I gotta tell you, it was nine degrees throughout this entire thing. You're on a coat, it's cold, but it's so worth seeing. Now you can buy your tickets online and get actually get it cheaper uh, than if you buy it at the door. But I must warn you guys, there is a $20 parking fee. You cannot get, away, you cannot get around it. So, absolutely worth the money to see. A Christmas memory I will share with my family, and I know you will share with your family if you get the chance to go. So let's go check out the, the, the overview of ICE. It's not a very long segment. I did not want to ruin it for you because there's a lot of things I did not show you. But it will get you the idea and hopefully inspire you enough to go visit. So let's go to ICE at Gaylord Palms Hotel and Convention Center. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama and her kerchief and I and my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang to the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and a tiny reindeer. With a little low driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his courses they came. As he whistled and shouted, they called him by name. Now Dancer, now Dasher, now Prancer, now Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner, on Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with, a, with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the house, the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. Then in, the, in, then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came abound. When he dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes all tarnished from ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opened his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll-like mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly elf, as I laughed, I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink in his eye, a twist of his head, soon gave to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, and turned with a jerk, and lying his finger aside of his nose, giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team he gave a whistle, and they all flew away like, down, like the down of a thistle. But I heard with an exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, 
and to all a good night. Are you stuck with a timeshare? Did you attend the presentation and were seduced and enticed into buying that great vacation and investment? Now you're in the terrible position of trying to figure out a way to get out of that mess. You're not alone. For over 15 years, BuyYourTimeshare.com has been helping people like yourself get out of timeshare ownership. The fact is there is no resale market. Unscrupulous telemarketers call you and say they have buyers waiting and the next thing that happens is you give them hundreds of dollars for an ad and you'll never hear from them again. Another fact is that an identical timeshare to yours is being offered on eBay for a dollar and no one is buying it. If you want out of your timeshare, I urge you to go to buyyourtimeshare.com or call them at 877-94-HELP-ME. That number again is 877-94-HELP-ME. Buyyourtimeshare.com. That's buyyourtimeshare.com. 877-94-HELP-ME. 877-94-HELP-ME. All right, guys, we are back, and we are going to Tampa, Florida, to one of the most premier places to visit, Bush Gardens. Everybody loves them for their thrill rides, but they do a spectacular job for Christmas, too. What they do is they take the park and turn it into the Christmas town around 7 or 8 o'clock at night when it gets dark. What you'll experience is over 2 million lights. You get, to, you get to ride the rides. You get to experience vendors that ha make jewelry and candles and all kinds of custom foods. You'll be able to see great productions out there from instrumental and vocal productions. It is an amazing thing to see, and it doesn't matter what age you are, you're going to love it. The, the lights will just blow your mind. So from the age of 2 to the age of 99, go visit if you get a chance. What's great about it is you don't have to spend any extra money to view it. All you need to do is buy a one-day admission pass, and you get to experience the, the thrill rides of, of Busch Gardens all day long. And then at 7 o'clock, if you stay that long, you'll be able to actually go and walk through the Christmas town. And if you're an annual pass holder, just show up at 7 o'clock. It doesn't matter. You can come and go as you please. And, again, there's not a special ticket. So... If you have the chance and you're in the Tampa Bay area, go check this out. We're going to do a quick walkthrough. There's so much to see, I could not put it all in there, and I did not want to ruin it for everybody. So go check out the Christmas Town at Bush Gardens, and when we get back, we'll have some more stuff for you. So stay tuned.
FM 24-7 Roku channel broadcasts all of our shows on demand. To ensure reliability, we store and stream our content on the same servers as Netflix and Amazon. Our Roku channel is free to use, and anyone owning one of the more than 10 million Roku devices can watch our channel at no cost whatsoever. If you have a television show or are thinking about producing a show, you can be a part of AM FM 24-7's Roku channel. Watch our great shows on your Roku device. It's free and more reliable than cable TV. All right, guys, we're back. And if you don't have the opportunity to go to Tampa or Orlando, no big deal. There's so many things that you can do in and around your neighborhood. One of them is check out your local listings because there's probably some plays. There's probably some type of production going on at any church or, or library or school. There's lots of things that you can do. And if you don't want to get out there and get involved with people and walk hand in hand and stuff, no big deal. I, I get that. I don't like crowds that much either. But what you can do is get in your car and go see how people decorated their homes. You know, it's so special to go out there with your family and just check out the different lights. And if you can't light your house, other people do it. So go enjoy it. It's there for you. They do it so you can enjoy. And if you don't want to go out and you don't have time to go out, no problem. There's, a th there's a something I love to do every year. It's a Christmas tradition for me, and that's watching Christmas specials. Now, you got Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. you got Frosty the Snowman. you got uh, the Grinch. you got the Santa Claus. you got so many different ones out there. But there are three that mean something to me that I haven't seen in a long time, and I thought they were gone. I don't know where they went to, but I found them online. The first one is A Christmas Toy by Jim Henson. Now, what A Christmas Toy is, is you have a bunch of toys that are family. They get up, they talk, they walk, they turn human, and they await the Christmas toy every year. It's one of the most special things for them to do. But if they're caught out of place or walking around, they become frozen in time, kind of like, they're, kind of like they die, but they don't die. And then they're put into a little special place where they are honored. And this year... Through Christmas, the miracle of Christmas, and the true nature of friendship and goodwill towards men, they bring them back. I love the story. You can go check that out on Hulu. YouTube has some little segments of it, not the full episodes, and you can also find it on Voodoo. Next one I want to talk to you about is the Christmas, uh, the, it's uh, Santa and the Three Bears. This one is, he's actually like the ranger. And it's actually saying you can tell it's Santa Claus. And what he does is he takes these two bears that are in this forest that under his care, and he talks to them about Christmas. It's a beautiful story. I, it's 70s, 80s, uh, somewhere in between there. But it is an amazing story. I love the animation. It's so cute. And it's one of my favorites as a child. If you want to go check it out, the full episode is on YouTube. And finally, The Bear Who Slept Through Christmas with Ted E. Bear. All Teddy Bear wants to do is find the meaning of Christmas. And he goes on this journey to find what the meaning of Christmas is. Does he find it? Yes, he does. And this one can be found on YouTube and Netflix. I like Netflix because I can watch it on television or, or a uh, computer. But if you happen to have like something like a Hulu or, um, not Hulu, but Roku, you can watch it on both your TV or your computer. So there, a lot of these too, YouTube, you can watch it through there if you have the if you have the app and the Roku, on your Roku. So those are some things that you can do. If you haven't seen those in a while, go check them out because I know it's going to bring back a lot of great memories for you. And one thing I like to see every year, it's not necessarily always on t television, but when it is, it's usually on uh, the American Movie Classic Channel. It is a Christmas story with George C. Scott. I love 
his version of it. He's so passionate. He brings Ebenezer to life and makes him a true hated foe, but yet he turns it around and you want to love him at the end. Um, he does such a spectacular job of it. George C. Scott, A Christmas Carol. Absolutely go check that out. Now, I'm going to finish it off with just what, with a little bit of trivia. Have you ever heard the, 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 Christmas, the Christmas Carol, uh, uh, Walking in a Winter Wonderland? In there, there is a, there's a line that says, We're going to marry you like a picture print like Burt Courier and Ives. Have you ever wondered what that is? Well, I did. And I googled it a long time ago. And what I found out was that it's this amazing artist. Courier and Ives is a lithograph company that started out in the late 1700s and into the 1800s. And they are known for some of their most amazing um, prints of, you know, historic uh, Europe, America, and Christmas stuff. And you see it sometimes on plates. You've probably seen Courier and Ives. You just never knew it was there because you didn't look. And that's okay. But if you get a chance, Google them. The pictures are amazing. And they did it with the old, it's basically an etching. They took metal and they painted it with a little bit of uh, different color inks and then they pressed it on paper and it became really the first posters. That's Courier and Eyes. If you want to know what it is, go check it out. Now, guys, this is the end of the show. It is the last show that we're going to be doing for 2015. We're going to be back in 2016 with a lot more to do, a lot more places to see, people to talk to. It's going to be exciting. So from my family to yours, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and have a happy and safe New Year. And until next year, guys, keep those creative juices flowing. Like, OMG, you were on TV and junk.